The textures are one thing that people always pick up on and they wonder how you, how you get the textures in there. And so these textures are basically, uh, it's pretty simple, they're just done with a paint scraper. Um, you know, pulling up the material in a very natural way and letting the, letting the clay do its thing. Every uh, sculpture is very different from one another and I don't think I'll ever be able to replicate one of them uh, exactly how it was, but um, that's part of the intrigue with the process is that I could ex keep exploring this body of work for a really long time and always find something new. The clay community in, uh, in Minneapolis is extremely strong and um, I didn't have any trouble finding work in clay. I think I, you know, there was one point where I had four jobs right after graduation that were all clay related. It's just been a great uh, launching point for me after um, school, you know, gaining confidence uh, as an independent artist can be a, a hard thing to do after you graduate and, um, you know, getting teaching opportunities and exhibition opportunities here has been uh, really huge the past year. I know it lays on the bottom, right? Is it a bottom of the shelf? Got it. Any questions? <laughs> I like the energy of kids and, uh, you know, I kind of become one of them to a certain extent uh, when I'm teaching. Any questions? Right. Any questions? <laughs> Some of these uh, kids are coming from schools where they've cut a lot of the arts programs, so this is a great outlet for them to, to get that. What I enjoy about teaching kids is um, watching kids uh, sort of interpret the process in a very different way than adults do and actually you can take away a lot uh, creatively from their mindset that is so fresh and original has added a lot to my expertise, I guess.